Okay, so it's our spring break, and I have been resting, but I have not been resting my mind. I've been thinking about this water bottle. Fill it at water fountains, and when you fill it at a water fountain, you have to tilt it. So it got me thinking, how much volume does this fill? And also, how much volume can you actually fill when you're tilting it on its side? Let's do some math. Okay, I already wrote the volume formula for a, a cylinder. This is actually for any prism figure. Prism means that you have the same base on top and on bottom, and you connect them together like this. So there is my very bad, badly drawn cylinder. Okay, so this is my big B, and this right here is my H. If you know anything about circles, the area of your big base is pi r squared. So what we're really doing is pi r squared times h. So I actually have to measure this out here. I have a tape measure here. That looks like... Oh, it's so hard to get this. You probably can't see, but that's about seven and a half inches. About three inches. Okay, so we know the radius. If the whole diameter is three inches, we're gonna plug in 1.5 for our radius. The height we found is seven and a half. Okay, and this is gonna be in cubic inches. So, I'm gonna crunch this. Okay, so the cubic inches is 53.01. It's almost exactly 53 inches cubed. So the question is, what happens when you tilt it at a 45 degree angle? So if you're tilting it, it's gonna look like this. You have a water level here, you have water in there. What's the volume of that? Because if you put any more in there, it's just gonna start spilling out. Believe it or not, you don't need to know any trigonometry here. You can actually figure out, if you just think about it correctly, you can figure out how much volume is left over. All right, there you have it, that's my challenge. So far in my classroom, no one has actually solved it. So I'm wondering if you can. If you think you have the answer, post it below my video, and I'll see you guys next time.